live. This is Live Miami at 11. All right, Roxy, thank you much. Well, during the holiday season, there are two things that go hand in hand, unfortunately, uh, parties and gaining weight. But it doesn't have to be that way. Our next guest, Michelle Marie, is here to show us how moms can reverse that trend with some holiday exercise tips. And you've got a fantastic website, which really is geared toward women. Absolutely, Tell yes. me a little bit about it. Um, well, I love, I have a huge connection with men, women, and I just, the, each stage of a woman's life is so difficult. So I like to help brides and pregnant women and moms stay in shape because it's, it's so hard to be a woman and each stage is so difficult that I'm really passionate about helping women be in shape and have energy. Okay, but there's no more difficult time for moms and women or anybody than this time of the year to stick with your regimen of trying to eat healthy. Absolutely. So what do you suggest? Well, during the holidays, it's really, really hard because, you know, aside from holiday parties and events, us moms, we have the kids home from school. And that just means that, you know, we have to go on play dates and parties. And most of that stuff revolves around food and usually not so healthy food. So my advice is to just take like 30 to 45 minutes, just one time a week, and pre-make a bunch of healthy snacks and healthy meals oh, and keep idea. them in the fridge. That way, you know, when you're going out with the kids or a party, you could take a, a healthy snack with you because if not you end up eating you know at the food court or junk so it really like it helps you save time and then you're always prepared with something healthy okay help us with our workout because a lot of folks really kind of slack off this time of the year because you got shopping and other stuff to do and that kind of goes by it's, the wayside. It's hard, but you know, you can't get results. You can't be in good shape without exercise. But I do understand that it's hard during the holidays, you know, and it's, it's hard being a mom and juggling everything. And if you're anything like me, you know, you're trying to save the whole world and you don't have time All for right. yourself. We're going to start but exercising. We're going to move your young lady in here and you're going to take good. her through some things that can awesome. help all so ladies this time of the year. We are going to start with a push up. So we're going to do push ups. Good, then we're gonna do 20 of those and go right back up and you're gonna grab those dumbbells and we're gonna do a squat with a curl and a press. So squat with a curl and a press, just do one more. Good, and if you could just wake up 20 minutes before you're supposed to and commit to that two to three times a week, uh, you can make it happen, you know, before the kids wake up, before the husband gets up. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do some mountain climbers. So we're going to do this for about 15 to 60 seconds, depending on your fitness level. And I was going to ask you about fitness level, because so often, you know, we'll have trainers come in and they think that everybody can jump in and be in a boot camp. No, you and know, you yeah. can do these exercises. These are all very simple exercises mm -hmm. that you can do right from home in your family room. But you, you know, you would do, dep depending on your fitness level, 10 to 20 reps. But the most important part is to allot the time for it, because being a mom, you know, it, Life is hard. Uh, so if you could just wake up 20 minutes before you're supposed to, before and the kids. 20 minutes is enough? 20 to 30 minutes, three times a week, and you can get a great fat loss workout in that much time. But the thing is, you have to commit to it and do it before, you know, life happens, before your husband's up, before the kids are, because then it's, you'll never make it happen. So just a few more exercises. We're going to do dumbbell rows, so bent down. Good, head down, and you can pinch those shoulder blades. And would you recommend, for example, if you're starting to work out, should you start with a trainer maybe first and get the technique and the yes, form? Yes, absolutely. It's always great to start with a trainer and to make sure that your form is good and that you're not going to injure yourself. But, you know, these workouts, sometimes, you know, you can't make it to the gym, so you can't have, because you just don't have the time or the resources to do it. But with these, I have a ton of workouts online that really guide you through step-by-step step, uh, the form and the techniques so that you don't injure yourself and so that you have a very specific plan instead of just kind of making up exercises and putting them together. So that's what's really great about being able to help all these women online is that they, it's like step-by-step -step nutrition plans, step-by-step -step workouts. It's like almost like fitness and health for dummies, you know, because it's really guides you every step of the way. And, and I bet other than like getting ready for your wedding and making sure you fit into your dress, this time of the year really is one of the most difficult where people really have that challenge of staying with the plan. It is because with all the holiday parties, and like I said, you have family over, you're out of routine, and you're shopping, and you know, you, you tend to overindulge. Okay, show us a few more exercises to close okay. this out, and I'm going to tell okay, folks awesome. how to find you. Okay, awesome. We're going to do a lateral for lunge. more help and fitness lateral so you lunge? can visit Good. her, Michelle Marie, awesome. at fit.com. She'll give you great exercises like that awesome. and all kinds of other advice. Roxy, over to you. <laughs>